The death toll of children who have since passed away as a result of nodding syndrome currently stands at more than 200. Since the disease first hit northern Uganda, only children have been affected. Over 300 children are currently struggling with the disease, even when some of them have recovered. But Kitugumu Mani MP Biatwe Sanywa claims that three cases of nodding syndrome among adults have emerged, which has sent panic among the population. We have a Riemo, Alessandrina, who is 48 years old. She's an elderly lady, and her household also had children with the nodding disease. We have uh, Olara Livingstone, who is 35 years old, and we have even Ofonya Robinson, who is 18. And this one should tell us that all of us are candidates for nodding syndrome. Because you are talking to me, I'm, I'm thinking anytime I can start becoming the same person, because I've been interacting with these children. However, the Minister of Health says some of these cases could be epilepsy. Yeah, it is possible, but uh, there are many other mental diseases in that area because they have the uh, biggest number of epilepsy. Uh, and then uh, those are the issues which we are trying to investigate. In fact, even among the children who have presented as nodding disease, a sizable number is actually because of the traditional epileptic tendencies which we have isolated. Like I've told you, one of the other actually had a tumor. Uh, and then... But we encourage the public. We are happy about Anyuazi, Honorable Banyuazi participation in public mobilization. But Anyuazi insists that one possible explanation for the mysterious disease is traces of gunpowder left behind during the 20 year insurgency in northern Uganda. We think that the whole truth about nodding disease is not told. And we are very suspicious that the weapons used in the war could be one of those things which is causing us trouble. No, no, that one was ruled. A possibility of weapons of war were ruled out. Possibility of contaminated food was ruled out. And then we zeroed on the strong association, an association which has been observed between the nodding disease and onchocerciasis, the disease that is called locally as river blindness. During the war, there are some generations of people who missed their mass drug administration, and we, we are thinking that that could be the the reason why we are getting those epileptic attacks. Kitugumu Mumani MP Beatrice Sanywa now plans to set up a nodding disease center to help the victims of the disease. Anywa's efforts will supplement that of government in Iguru and Kitugumu districts. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.